What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Ask Aiden Anything. I'm your host Aiden Dowling and I'm really excited about today's topic. So today's topic is questioning your gender. I get so many DMs, not just from trans people, but from all kinds of people saying that this is the first time in their life that they're questioning their gender, trying to figure out who they are. And I think a lot of people are questioning their gender, not because they are actually trans or non-binary, but I think more because for the first time in a very long time, maybe even ever in our human history, Gender just is so arbitrary to who we are and how we function in society, you know? It's like the first time where we're all feeling like okay enough to like sit and think about like, well, why am I, why am I wearing this outfit? Or why am I wearing this dress? Or why am I being a cheerleader and, and when maybe I really want to play football, right? And I feel like it's very important when we start talking about gender stereotypes and actual how we feel about gender. So that's kind of where I want to take this video. If you're questioning your gender, I think you have to think about one main thought. Am I questioning my gender, who I am, how I truly feel inside? Or am I questioning how society sees me based on my biological sex? So to break that down some more, as a trans person, I felt very out of line with my physical body. And when I had interactions with other people based on my physical body, the stereotypes put on me because I was born female, I hated it because it just, it felt so icky and it didn't, it just was like, what is going on? Why is everyone telling me to use the women's room? Why is everyone telling me I have to have a baby? Like, why is everyone telling me all of these things? It, it's, that's not who I am. I have no desire to do that. It just, it just, I don't even know how to explain it. Those weren't even the best like explanations, but like, it just, it was just so internal and the external was just kind of like because we all have to interact with these 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 bodies you know what i mean so the reason i say this is because more now than ever we had, we just have women who are you know breaking the stereotypes that we put on women we have men who are breaking the stereotypes we put on men and that doesn't make these people trans right so if you're a woman who feels very masculine who you know has all the traditional masculine traits you know what i mean it doesn't mean that you are a man right it just means that you are a masculine woman nothing wrong with that right you know what i mean or like or it just means you're a woman who happens to be all these things that people deem masculine right um and i feel like that's where the breakdown is if we can really break that down and decide that is it my gender I'm questioning or am I really questioning society's views on my gender and how I should be because of my gender, right? And I think that's the question I get a lot of times. It, I, a lot of times it's not so much that these people are trans. Most of the people asking me this question are cis and they're just confused because they see other people, they see trans people defying society's standards and they say I want to do that too but that doesn't mean that they're trans and so I feel like if you're really questioning your gender you really really just you really need to get some outside help and counseling and that would be as simple as going to your local LGBT center and you know going to the trans group listen to other trans people who are living their life as the opposite of how they were born, right? Talk to these people, express yourself with these people, see if there's commonalities, see if there's differences, see if you really truly feel that way. You know, go to Starbucks and use use the different name, you know what I mean? A more, a more feminine name or a more masculine name, just to see how you feel about it. How does it make you feel, um, you know? And I feel like if we can really just, just find opportunities, to connect with trans people, then you'll be able to figure out like, am I trans or am I not? And that's not to say everyone's story is the same, but there are a lot of commonalities. And I think that is what I see, is that I just see a lot of cis people who are not wanting to live up to society standards anymore. And that doesn't mean you're trans. It just means that you are a dope ass human being who refuses to let the stigmas and stereotypes of others get you down or put you in a place you don't want to be. And that, my friend, 
is freaking awesome. So if you are questioning your gender, like I said, seek help, right? And not help as if like, oh my gosh, there must be something wrong with you. It's more like, no, like seek help for clarity. Get more clear, you know what I mean? Talk to other, if you're a biological woman, you know what I mean, and you, you're you questioning your gender, talk to other women about some of the things you're feeling. Do they feel the same way? Is it more about the stigmas and stereotypes put on you by society that you're actually feeling pushing yourself up against? Or is it actually this internal thing that is really, really strong within you that you really cannot live your life if not being trans and being able to transform yourself and be the person you truly are, right? So go to an LGBT center, meet some other trans people, talk to them, find a counselor, have conversations with them, seek guidance so that you don't make a choice that has nothing to do with gender but really just has to do with the time period that we're in right now. I know so many women who just, they're still women and they identify as women but they are just so not your stereotypical woman, right? Because stereotypical women is stigma. It's stereotypical stereotypes, okay? And I think all of us can agree that stereotypes, they're just not good. Like you just can't say anything general about people anymore because it's not true. You just can't, okay? And you can joke about it and it can be funny and blah, 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 but it's not real, right? So again, if you're questioning your gender, I feel like you really just have to seek advice, watch more videos like this, find other people on YouTube, find other, you know, again, if, if you're a biological male and you're questioning your gender, find other men who are talking about masculinity, who are breaking down what it is to be a man. And maybe you'll realize that it's not so much that you're not a man, but you're just not what society says is a man. Does that make sense? You are going up against a world who has already told you who you should be based on your genitals at birth. And I feel like that alone is so hindering to people's growth and expansion of who they truly are. So if you're questioning your gender, seek advice, seek help, have a friend, talk to someone about it. Don't just figure it all out by yourself in your room. You know, that, that's not where you're gonna actually discover yourself. That's where you might create these illusions of what life could be like if you were only this other person you saw on Instagram or this other person you saw here on YouTube. I think that's really what you have to do. So remember those things, seek help, seek counseling. It's it's okay, there's something wrong with you if you get help. I have a therapist, so everyone I know, my wife is a therapist, I mean, you know, it's. it's it's, there's something wrong with therapy. There's something wrong with counseling. There's something wrong with getting someone else's unbiased opinion on things going on in your life. And then you can take that information and choose to make whatever choice you feel fit. And I'm not trying to convince people they're not trans. I'm just trying to convince people that it's so important we look at ourselves and we don't make choices that are quick and unthought out. That's my thing. The fact is, is that there will be a detransition rate in the next 10 years that will be higher than it ever has before. And that is because people are not taking the time to really, really process who they are and decide that they are trans or not. The reality is, is that we need more trans people who are proud of who they are, but we need more cis people who defy stereotypes so that they can be proud of who they are too. We need both people to be strong so that we can unite and we can really change the system from the inside out. That's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm here to talk about. And that's what I want you all to talk about. So I hope this video helped. If it helped you, please share the video. Maybe it'll help someone else. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to catch more videos. And also, if you want to ask me a question, you can leave a comment below or you can follow me on Instagram at Fear and DM me or just make a post with the hashtag AskAidenAnything. I'm following that hashtag, so I will see it, I promise. And if I like it, or if I feel like it would be really good content here for more people to hear uh, some advice on that specific topic, I will definitely answer it here on this channel. So thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.